The U.S. Justice Department has seized 68 big cats from the former animal park of Joe Exotic, the star of the Netflix documentary Tiger King for ongoing Endangered Species Act violations. That's why the cats were taken. Joining us now to discuss, we welcome in Carol Baskin. She's the CEO of Big Cat Rescue in Tampa, Florida, was also featured in the series Tiger King as well. Carol, thanks so much for joining us. We appreciate it. Thank you for having me. Absolutely. I, I think um, a lot of our viewers might be interested to hear the very latest in this story here. We've spoken previously on the show to Lauren Lowe, the current operator, one of them at Tiger King Park in Oklahoma. The DOJ explained that they repeatedly violated laws requiring appropriate care for the animals. They had not complied with the order to hire a qualified veterinarian for care of the animals as well. That, according to the DOJ, uh, based on what you've seen for the park, does that sort of add up? What we have seen at the Thackerville Tiger King Park has been just horrendous conditions for these cats. We had a drone in the air right before the seizure took place for four days, and we saw no evidence of these animals being fed. We saw a lot of extremely thin, ragged looking animals. And so we were so delighted that the DOJ did go in there and seize the big cats. But we also put a drone in the air as they were seizing the cats and noticed that Jeff and Lauren Lowe left Monday morning and didn't come back for several days. During that period of time, we only saw one person on the property. Couldn't tell if he was feeding the remaining animals because even though they took the big cats, they left behind bobcats and caracals, wolves, um, a lot of farmed animals. And this one person who was wandering around the property was Eric uh, Cowie from Tiger King. You might remember him. And he was in the news just in the last couple of days because he didn't show up for his DUI. And now they're talking about him being in jail for a year. So it makes me wonder, is anybody there taking care of these animals now? Yeah, uh, definitely several questions remain here. It sounds as though you were maybe tipped off that the DOJ would be going in to rescue these cats. Uh, what else did you see in sort of the process of removing the big cats? And also, where are they headed? We weren't tipped off about the seizure. We just mm -hmm. happened to be there. And as soon as we heard that the seizure was actually taking place, that's when we sent our drone operator back up there. He had been up there the week before showing the horrible conditions but we sent him back up so that we could actually see what was happening because nobody was talking about it and it was in a, a sealed um, warrant. So there was no way to find out which animals were going to be able to get out of there. Okay, and then again, uh, where are these animals being taken to? They were sent to legitimate accredited sanctuaries all across the country. And each of those sanctuaries that was involved has issued a press release, but they can't really talk about this issue because of the fact that it's still an ongoing case. We've had cats like that here at Big Cat Rescue before. We call them witness protection cats. So we can say, yes, that cat is here, but we can't talk about the conditions. So since I'm not a part of that, I can tell you what I saw as the conditions and they were deplorable. So I applaud the DOJ for finally getting in there and rescuing these cats. And whoever else can take action to get the rest of those animals out of that fly infested cesspool, I, I, I really hope that they will take action to do that. Wow, okay, how many animals again do you believe are still there? I know that there's at least two bobcats, two caracals, some wolves. There was a camel. The poor thing didn't look like it could stand any longer. It was like leaning its head underneath the fence trying to get to some grass. There are neighbor reports that Lowe has been turning animals loose or they've been escaping. They're, they've seen a porcupine and a white raccoon and a bunch of peafowl running around. And the drone shots that we have show just trash and garbage and rotting carcasses everywhere, flies all over the place. And it looks very much like the way the Lowe's left the GW Zoo when we took that over in Winniewood. It was just covered in filth and feces and rotting meat everywhere you looked.
Hi, Emma Reckenberg here. If you like this video, there's a whole lot more to see on Newsmax TV. You can watch for free right here on our YouTube live stream and be the first one here each time our experts break down real news. Just hit that subscribe button, ring the bell icon, and stay with us on America's fastest growing cable news channel, Newsmax TV.